The QQ from Tenderfoot Electronics is the long-awaited update of our original quad quantizer module. The basic layout of the top part of the module remains mostly the same as the original, with the four quantizer channels being arranged from top to bottom. The bottom part of the module, however, adds a lot more features to the original and we'll go over everything in this video. To start off, we'll look at the arrangement of the jacks. The two jacks on the left of each channel, marked in white, are the CV and trigger inputs. The CV input is where you send the voltages that you want quantizing into the channel. Typically, these will come from an unquantized sequencer, a sample and hold, an LFO or an envelope generator. But if it produces a voltage, it can probably be used. Next up, the trigger input allows you to trigger when the CV input is sampled. Leaving this unpatched will put the channel into a constant sampling mode and whenever the CV input reaches the next note in the quantized scale, the CV output will reflect that. The two jacks to the right of each channel are the outputs. These are marked in gold. First up is the CV jack, which is where your quantized 1 volt per octave output will emerge. The CV outputs of each channel can range from minus 3 to plus 7 volts. Beside the CV output jack is the trigger output jack and this will output an 8 millisecond 8 volt pulse whenever the CV output changes. Below the jacks are the two assignable modulation inputs with their attenuated dials. When the jacks are left unpatched, a voltage is normal to the dial, allowing you to adjust various parameters without the need for a separate CV source. Under this is the new OLED and encoder, used for navigating the user interface which we'll look at later in the video. And right at the bottom are the scale programming buttons which illuminate to display the currently selected notes. Now to begin with, we'll just patch in some sequences to the CV inputs and send the outputs to our VCOs, with the triggers triggering our envelope generators. As you can currently tell, there are no notes playing, and that's because we have no notes selected on our current scale. The most basic way of using the quantizer is to manually press the buttons at the bottom of the module to set your own scale. So I'm just going to press some of the buttons to show what happens. As you can hear, only one of our voices is triggering. This is because the QQ can hold four scales, and by default, channel 1 is assigned to scale A, channel 2 assigned to B, and so on. To edit scale B, we just need to turn the encoder to the right to select it. As you'll see on the OLED and the buttons, scale B is currently blank, so let's add some notes. Let's do the same for scale C. Now we'll take a quick look at the user interface and how to access the pre-programmed scales. So we currently have scale A highlighted. All we need to do is click the encoder in, at which point we can select to edit the scale, key, or the channel assignment. Starting by selecting the scale, we can scroll through the 43 pre-programmed scales until we find one that we like. And then we just need to click the encoder again to set it. If we want to change the key of the scale, again, we highlight scale A, press the encoder, navigate to the key selector, and then we can change it. The final thing we can do from the main screen is to set which quantizer channels are currently following each scale. If we press the encoder, navigate to the left, and then press it again, we can add all of the quantizer channels that we want to this scale.
Next up, we'll look at the modulation inputs. So with the current setting, you can see that turning the mod 1 dial transposes the CV inputs before the quantization process. Hence, it's labeled as transpose free. If we turn the mod 2 dial, it currently allows us to transpose the outputs by whole octaves. The two mod controls can be assigned to currently one of four parameters, and each quantizer channel can be linked to the mod channels individually in a similar way to how we assigned the scales. To access the mod menu, we just have to hold down the encoder for one second, and here we can choose to edit mod 1 or mod 2. Upon clicking down the encoder, we can choose which parameter we want and which quantizer channels we want to assign to the mod channel. So here, mod 1 is transposing the channels after the quantization happens. So this is essentially the same as changing key. And of course, everything that we're doing with the dial can be done with CV control. So let's go back into the mod menu. And this time, we're going to change mod 2 to control the scale assignment. First, we're going to choose four scales from the scale menu for A, B, C, and D. And now, when we turn mod 2, you'll see and hear that the scales that the quantizer channels are following are changing between the scales that we set for A, B, C, and D. Let's just increase the tempo. And now that we've gone through the main controls, let's just have a little play around with the module. The QQ is currently available on the Tenderfoot Electronics website and will be available from dealers worldwide in summer 2023. For more information, please check out our website or feel free to get in touch. Thanks for watching.